oh, we've got a phenomenal art scene in Bemidji. It, uh, we've got performance artists, the theater, we've got uh, spoken word artists, we have musicians, we have a tremendous visual arts community here, we have the Bemidji Sculpture Walk, uh, 45 sculptures and half a dozen murals around town open and, and free to the public. We've got a uh, tremendous Bemidji Community Arts Center, uh, great gallery, uh, very supportive of the community and the artists in the region. We have uh, the Tally Gallery at the, at the university. Uh, the trouble with starting when you start naming names is you always leave people out. And I apologize <laughs> for that, but we've got a tremendous art scene here. I was born here, uh, early youth here, uh, left, uh, came back, and uh, uh, right at home. We've had a presence here for years. And um, do you know the artists that are commissioning or showing their work here today? Well, I know I know of them. Uh, I chair the steering committee for the Bemidji First City of Art Studio Cruise. Okay. And I don't know if you're familiar with the event. It's an open house where the participating artists invite the public into their working studio, demonstrate the creative process, and our, our mission statement is threefold. It's, a, it's to educate not only the public as to the creative process of the artist, but also for the artist to learn uh, the public's perception of their work, firsthand and one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's to promote Bemidji as a destination for the arts. Even though we know we've got a dynamic art scene here in the cities, it's under the radar outside of Bemidji. So uh, this is an opportunity to invite people up here to experience it firsthand. And then again to offer a little economic diversity for our community is large, right? If we can promote art tourism as well as hunting, fishing, and, and uh, bicycling and, and uh, the great outdoors, it makes for a stronger economic base for our, for our town.